Well, 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 everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're in a bit of a new setting for today. I, my current place is not available, so we're doing it here. Um, anyway, so <laughs> today we are going to be going back and revisiting. Sorry, I have to, uh, to reestablish myself here. Um, I'm going to be revisiting Mamamoo, and it's been a little bit since we've done them, and they've always been either really fun or really just like stacked, so. That's why I kind of want to get it on them again, because I just think, again, <laughs> they're pretty talented people. So, anyway, uh, we are doing one that's called You Are the Best. And, um, yeah, pretty excited. They're they're pretty fun. They're pretty fun. So, let's hop right into it, shall we? My name is Aaron. I run this channel called Killdeer25, and I grew up as a metalhead who didn't like anything outside of metal. And as you get older, you kind of want to expand the horizons and see new things, and that's why I'm here. So, variety is the spice of life, as they say. Let's hop into it, shall we? Come on, hey, mommy. Come on, hey, daddy. You need what's a getter to buy. Mr. L, 
thing. Okay. Apparently my dog wants to join in on this. <laughs> oh my god that was actually really quite interesting um there's a lot going on with this on first and foremost um secondly uh i want to say <laughs> that their cohesiveness is very impressive like as a singer you know being able to sing in tune is really good being able to sing together is really good and harmonizing is really good but there's that part where they both, they all go, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh. like to do that in key, <laughs> harmonizing, and like, it just, that was really phenomenal. Um, and you know, I actually had some other stuff that I was going to bring up that I thought of when I was listening to the song, but man, you know what? I, I want to bring this up. I do. I want to, um, how many of you? My first thought was, when I was listening to them, I would love to hear them cover a country song. I know, sounds crazy. But back in the mid to late 90s and even early 2000s, there was a country singer by the name of Shania Twain. And if you ever heard the song, Man, I Feel Like a Woman, I think that they should do a cover of that song. I do. <laughs> The uh, first, like, vocal line that they have in that and the chorus felt very Shania Twain-esque, which uh, I'd like to see them, because I honestly, not only do I think that they're as good as singers, I think they're honestly better, but, man. Huh. That would actually be really interesting to hear. And honestly, if you haven't heard that song, you'd probably like it, honestly. It's actually kind of poppy as well. But... Uh, so if you haven't, uh, Shania Twain, uh, man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> but aside from that, like, man, they are versatile. I feel like that they change, like, it's not even just a genre change. It's like a, f like, they changed to what kind of senior they were, like, three or four times in this song. And that's not easy. That's not easy at all. So, man. Yeah, that's really, I really think that this is a pretty stacked group. Every single time I listen to them, I always think that they have just a crazy ton of just potential. They have a crazy ton of just ability and talent. I need to get back to them sooner. I, I really want to listen to more to them. They, they are very intriguing to me. Yeah, this song was cool though. I like this song. So if you like this song as much as I did, uh, let me know. And if you want me to continue to react to Mama Moo, uh, let me know if you have any recommendations for them as well. Also, recommendations are open always. <laughs> so in any case, if you like this song as much as I did, let me know. And also too, um, I hope this video was just a little bit of positivity, a little extra positivity for you in your day. And well, I hope that this has been a good video for you. And I, it was for me. I had fun. So. Anyway, we'll see y'all next time. Ugh, I can't ever make the... <laughs>